Hey guys, it's JR the PC Surgeon. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to uh, test a hard drive. And if you don't know how to pull a desktop hard drive out of a desktop or a laptop hard drive out of a laptop, um, you may want to do some research on that, but it's pretty easy. I think a quick Google search, um, you'll be able to pull them out. And this is if your computer's not booting. You want to pull it out and plug it into another machine uh, via the SATA power and SATA data cable in a desktop. Or you can buy cradles um, at an electronic store that the, the hard drive just plugs into and then you just plug it into another computer, desktop or laptop with a USB. And uh, it'll install the driver. If it doesn't install the driver, then it's definitely bad, you know, if it's not recognizing it. But <clears throat> um, hopefully it installs a driver and it spins up. You can actually feel it. Um, put your hands on it. If it's vibrating, that means it's spinning up. So if you get to that point, um, you still may not know if your hard drive is good or not. I see forum posts all the time, you know, is my hard drive bad? You know, and they don't know. And People have them run check disk, which just fixes software. That has nothing to do with uh, your hard drive's physical sectors. Um, it can move data off of them, but you're still going to have bad sectors. And you want to know that. And the best program that I know of that tests for that is HD Sentinel. And the reason I know that, not just from my own experience, but a guy I know, a colleague of mine, if you will, um, has sold tens of thousands of hard drives on eBay. And he used to get returns uh, frequently, nothing too extreme. But when he started using this program, and he's used all of them, his return rate dropped dramatically. And because uh, uh, when you send them the drives, they test them or... You know, people don't even want to drive with one bad sector and they'll return it. You know, they're pretty picky. So um, when he started using this program to test his drives, uh, his return rate dropped dramatically. So um, here it is here. Here's the icon for it. I'll show you the website in a second. And this is how quick it tests. Um, we're going to open it up here. And it's doing it right now. It's reading some uh, data off the hard drive. And we see my Western Digital Storage Drive here at 100%. Here's my SSD. This program is compatible with SSDs. And it shows it at 92% health. It's got five bad sectors. But you can see we still got the green surface here. So it's still good. It has an estimated remaining lifetime, 654 days. And I don't know exactly how accurate that is, but um, the drive's in decent shape. But here's the hard drive I'm testing. And you can see that tests at 20% health. You can see that background turn red there. It recommends backing up the data immediately, and it said it's found 85 bad sectors. So uh, you need to replace this drive. And the uh, estimated remaining lifetime for this one is 20 days. So um, this one's on the brink of death. And uh, like I said, um, this is the best program that I know of. The, you can get free ones. This one is paid. It's like $23 for the standard edition. But um, the free ones are by the hard drives manufacturers, Western Digital or Seagate. And they are pretty good. They take a long time, though. Even their quick test takes quite a while. And you saw how fast this uh, did this. So I do this in front of customers. I let them know. I show them that the hard drive's bad. They don't just have to believe me or take my word for it. Um, so we'll go to the website here. You could just Google um, HD Sentinel. And uh, here it is. So there's a trial version you can go over. You may even be able to get by with the trial version. And then the standard version is uh, $23. So I highly recommend it, and I hope that helps someone out there uh, diagnose their own issue. Thanks a lot, guys.